with KHO and 2 weather, Justin Cruz. Sunny skies for the islands tomorrow with slightly stronger trade winds up to 20 miles per hour. And a look at the weather threat index still showing high levels of VOG for the Kona side of the Big Island and portions of Leeward Ka'u. Everything else is low in the weather threat index and our trade winds are going to be a notch stronger tomorrow. We're talking trade winds up to 20 miles per hour with higher gusts. Now that being said, a little bit later this week and into the weekends, those winds are going to really start to ramp up as well to 25, maybe 30 miles per hour. Storm-free conditions, so we're not really seeing the threat of any kind of heavy rain. Just what moves in with those windward and Malka showers and what pops up near uh, Kona. However, late Sunday and Monday, we'll have to see if this pans out. There's an area of moisture to the east of the state that is forecast to move through. We could see heavy rain starting Sunday night through Monday, potentially in through Tuesday as well. Things are starting to get wetter and we are closing out uh, the wet season or the dry season moving into the wet season. There are your windward showers tonight. A little bit for windward Oahu that's going to be moving through. We've seen on again, off again showers for areas such as Garden Nile. Of course, shower right offshore of Ka'a'ava there. Uh, we'll see these quick passing showers. Uh, continue to move through the islands in areas such as East Maui as well and the windward sides of the Big Island while Kona has dried up from earlier uh, afternoon showers from today. Two to four just about everywhere with the exception of North Shore at three to five and wet and windy days are ahead. It looks like the winds are going to start to ramp up Thursday through Sunday with 30 mile per hour winds possible on Sunday and Monday. That's when we can see that tropical moisture bring us some added showers, some of them heavy.